Hey there scientific people, how are you? So today I'm going to discuss about the image formation by convex mirror. So here is a convex mirror in front of us. This is a diverging mirror and I had drawn this convex mirror by taking the radius of curvature as 7 centimeters. So the distance from the pole to center of curvature is 7 centimeters. So by taking this distance as 7 centimeters and this point as a as a radius sorry as a center I had drawn the convex mirror so identical to that I have another convex mirror at the bottom over here and now we know that the focus is exactly between the pole and the center of curvature so this is our pole this point and similar over here now I have kept the height of the object in front of the convex mirror as about 2.5 centimeters so 2.5 centimeters is the height of the object now I have drawn two diagrams over here and in this particular case the object is quite far away from the pole and over here the object is very near to the mirror or the pole of the mirror right both the mirrors are similar but the object distance are quite different this object is far away and this object is near we know that this is a diverging mirror right and there are three rules for the for drawing the ray diagrams one is if a ray is parallel to the principal axis if the ray coming out from the object if it is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will diverge as if it will pass through focus so that means from focus you join this point and the ray will go like this so like this correct and why does it go so because I have already mentioned that the normal always passes through C you have to remember that right and the second ray would be if a ray incident ray falls on the pole then this principal axis since it is passing through C this behaves as normal so we know that the reflected ray is on the other side of the normal so we will see the reflected ray going like this by making the same angle but I prefer not to use this ray for the ray diagram because I will have to use the protractor because then I would have to ensure that these two angles are equal then the third rule is if a ray falls directly on the mirror such that if it would pass through C like this suppose this is the ray and it would like to go to C but it will not go because it cannot go inside the mirror so after reflection it will again bounce back in the same direction these are the three rules and the link is given in the description if you don't understand them so now let us begin so first ray would be parallel to the principal axis like this and we know that after reflection it has to go like this so this is our point of incidence this is our focus so the reflected ray would be going like this it is because I am just explaining you one time over here I will not draw that over here again because the normal always passes through C this is center of curvature and this is our point of incidence so this is our normal so same angle on the either side of the normal so always remember the normal has to pass through C correct that is why the ray is on the other side of the normal and it appears as if it is passing through the focus now the second ray so over here also it would be like this so this is our incident ray number one reflected ray number one incident ray number one reflected ray number one the other ray join the head and the center of curvature and from here since the ray cannot go inside the mirror so dotted lines like this and after reflection the ray this is your incident ray the ray would continue to bounce back in the same direction and it will go like this like this one and here also
like this. Now, if two reflected rays are not meeting, always a virtual image is formed. So, you can see that this is our incident ray, reflected ray, incident ray, reflected ray. Both reflected rays are not meeting. Reflected ray number one, reflected ray number two, both reflected rays are not meeting. So, virtual image will be formed. Now, here, this is the incident ray which falls on the mirror. Now, this from the point of incidence, the normal always passes through C. So, the normal is again on the same on the same incident ray. So, from this point, if I want to draw the normal, the normal would be on the C. So, here the angle of incidence is 0 degree. So, the angle of reflection is also 0 degree. So, the reflected ray lies on the incident ray. Right? Now, if I extend both the reflected rays, this is our first reflected ray and this is our second reflected ray. If I extend it because they are not meeting, so I have to extend them behind the mirror. So, they are meeting somewhere over here. And in this case, the reflected rays are meeting somewhere over here. So, this is the point where the image will be formed. And since the reflected rays are not meeting, it's a virtual image. Here also the virtual image. And virtual images are always erect, guys. Remember, remember, remember. If reflected rays are not meeting, virtual image is formed. So, in these two cases virtual image is formed and if you bring the object close or very far away anywhere on the principal axis you will see that the image is formed always behind the mirror virtual and that too between pole and focus right and you notice one thing that the same object height 2.5 centimeter if this object was brought nearer the image became bit bigger and it shifted more towards the pole see so in short always remember if you have an object and this is the image if you bring the object nearer the image will become bigger and it will also come more closer to the pole remember this now let us jot down some important points so first thing the image is virtual So hopefully guys you have understood the explanation right if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section thank you for watching the video